Everything new in Kapwing broadcasts directly to you, the creator. This is your Kapwing Direct. Hey everyone, this is Grace from Kapwing, and in the past month, we've brought a lot of new features to our editor that will make your content creation workflow more efficient. You'll cut down on time doing tedious tasks like trimming silences out of your footage or manually adjusting layers in the timeline one by one, so you can save time and energy for the more creative parts of your storytelling process. You'll also be making more engaging videos in less time with the new features that I'm about to show you. By the way, if you're ever curious to learn what's new in Kapwing on a more regular basis, you can find out at any time through our release notes document that is linked in the description. Every time we update Kapwing, we put notes about the changes there. Now click the first link in the description to get to Kapwing so you can see for yourself how these new features enhance your editing workflow. So first up we have our affiliate program. So this is obviously not a feature within the studio, but it is a way where you can earn cash and other Kapwing perks like a free pro subscription, swag, other exclusive networking opportunities just by telling people about Kapwing. And all you have to do to start earning these perks is firstly just sign up for the affiliate program, then start sharing your unique link to Kapwing with people. For example, by making content about Kapwing, the people that sign up for Kapwing Pro through your link are counted as a sale that you made. And from there, you'll earn up to 25% of recurring commissions for every person you refer. You can sign up to be an affiliate in just a few seconds at the second link in the description of this video. And we look forward to onboarding you. Another big feature we've introduced this month to Kapwing is SmartCut. SmartCut helps you edit videos 10 times faster because it automates the video editing process. It identifies and removes silences from videos automatically. And so that helps you transform your raw footage to a rough cut of your video in just a few seconds. And this can save hours of time editing things like talking head videos, tutorials, recorded presentations, basically any type of video where the silence just needs to be cut out. So to find SmartCut in Studio, first you'll wanna upload a video. Now, if you click on the video itself, on the right side menu, there will be a button that says Smart Cut. And you'll see automatically it pulls out all of these sections that are highlighted in red as areas of silence. Now, once it's identified these silences, you can just go ahead straight away and click Done over here in the corner. But you also have the option to increase or decrease how sensitive it is to silence. So using the slider on the bottom left corner, if I move it towards the right, you'll see more of the video is considered silence. And you can also adjust these individual blocks that it considers silent by clicking and dragging it to cover that full part. Now, once you're happy with what sections it's cutting out and considering silence, you can go ahead and click done on your video and it will populate the timeline silence free. So all those sections it considered silence, the red parts are now cut out of this video. Now, next up is montaging. This feature is a huge time saver. You'll be able to convert multiple images into a slideshow much more efficiently, basically by adjusting the timing of multiple photos at once. This is great for making photo slideshows or turning photos into a video. It's a commonly used technique for TikToks or Instagram Reels. You'll first want to upload your photos. Then once your photo files are on the canvas, you'll see the timeline hasn't appeared yet but we can change the duration of all of them and turn it into a video. Just select all the photos, and I'm gonna do this just by dragging. And then once you do that, you'll see on the right side, there's a little duration window that comes up here. And if I click that, I can select how long I want each of these photos to last, and it'll be applied to all the images. You can also choose a custom duration instead. For example, if I want 1.5 seconds, I can say 1.5, hit enter and all of these photos will now be 1.5 seconds long. They're lined up chronologically in the timeline, so one photo will change to the next. Um, but you can also adjust them individually. So for example, if I wanted this last photo to be longer, I can just click and drag so it's longer. Next on the list is our image drop shadow feature. We added text drop shadow a while back, and now we are bringing that to images as well. Image drop shadows are great for adding depth to your projects, and it's commonly used in things like video thumbnails, social media posts, just graphic and design in general. It's a great thing to have in your toolkit for spicing up images. But you'll want to upload an image to Kapwing or find one through our images tab by searching. And then to add the drop shadow, click the image, click effects on the right side in the tab, and then there will be an option that says drop shadow. Click that and you'll automatically get a drop shadow added. It's very faint here, it's a faint black line. 
And you have a bunch of options for changing how it looks. So you can change the color of the shadow itself. You can also change the blur distance and rotation of the shadow. I'm going to increase the blur and the distance because I want the shadow to be more prominent. I think that effect is even more evident when you remove the shadow. So if I remove the shadow now, you can see it just, the image looks pretty flat. So having that shadow can just make your images pop a little more and draw attention to some specific image in the center of a larger image and just be a good way to make your graphics look more interesting. Next up, you now have more icons and shapes at your fingertips. We've added thousands of free customizable shapes and transparent PNG icons that you can use in your image or video projects, including common ones like logos, arrows, circles, rectangles, even UI elements, and more. I love these because they eliminate the need to go hunting for all the shapes you want to add to a project. They are all located right inside the elements tab on the left hand side of Kapwing. Click to view all the shapes and you're brought into an area where you can have more options. You can also just search for your shape. For example, if I was to search message, brings up different types of messaging icons that are pretty common. And to add them, just go ahead and click on them. So, and the nice thing too about these that some other shape websites don't have is the ability to customize them. So color, outline, size, they're really high quality as you can see. Just click the shape or the icon and then you have the options on the right hand side. So fill color, I can adjust this to anything I want. You can even change the outline color and also the thickness of it. Adjust the opacity, make it more see-through or less see-through as you need. There's lots of different styles too. Like some of these, as you can see on the left, have more of like this outline style already. So definitely encourage you to explore and see what is out there in the shapes world that you have at your fingertips. We've also introduced a color picker to Kapoing and really unlocks unlimited colors for you to choose from now. You go to any of these color palette options. For example, if I was to click this YouTube icon and change its fill color, you'll notice that there is this left side palette that you can really just drag and it'll highlight a color and show you what it looks like in the select bar here. As you adjust the bottom part of this palette, you can go through the different colors and see their different shades. So this is really helpful if you don't know exactly what color you want, you're just trying to explore the different colors and see how they compare to other parts of your image or video that you're making. But once you've selected a color that you're interested in, you can just go ahead and click select and it will change that color on the canvas. Another update is we've started making and adding a bunch of video and image templates to our site and to Kapoing to make it even easier for you to make content. You don't have to start from scratch. You can just click one of these templates and start editing it or even just browse this page and these templates for inspiration. Find all of these at kapoing.com templates which is linked in the description as well. You can just click one and start editing it and it pulls it up right in Kapwing where you can adjust the text and the graphics and add whatever you want to it. Or you can even start within the editor. There is a tab on the left side. If you go to the more section and click templates, this window pops up with different templates that you can browse or just search right here for a specific type of template. And it'll pull up the template and all its layers in the timeline. Now the last change I'm gonna go over in today's Kapwing Direct is that we are introducing folders to your workspace. You may have noticed that your workspace has a new look. On the left side here, you can see that these previously were called workspaces and are now considered folders. They still act the same way. You can make as many of new ones as you want to organize your different types of projects. We made this change because we're working heavily on introducing more organization and collaboration features to make video editing as a team easier. And stay tuned for more organization features to come. So what do you think of these new features? Let us know in the comments below and also talk to us directly on Discord. Also, if you want early access to Kapwing features before they're live for everyone else, you can earn that access by becoming an affiliate at the second link in the description. Make sure to also subscribe to our channel to keep getting updates about new Kapwing features and we'll see you in the next video.